As a developer, one thing that you find yourself doing very often is saving a piece of code in order to reuse it later. Now, a lot of developers, they're using things such as like a note-taking application in order to do this. Um, a lot of times they want to add certain things like relevant websites, relevant tags, maybe an explanation including included with the code snippet. Um, now, what Pieces does is Pieces just makes this entire process uh, available, uh, powered by AI through a single click um, from the VS Code extension. So what I'll go ahead and do is I have this parse code fence function here, and I'm just going to go ahead and highlight it, and then I can right click, and I can go ahead and I can save it to pieces. Now what this is going to do is it's going to save that snippet to pieces, and I can go ahead and go over here and see this TypeScript snippet that I just saved. Um, as you can see, it's already managed to rename it for me. It's named it parse code fence using a regular expression. Um, and if I go ahead and if I click on this, you can see all the whole host of metadata that's been attached to it. Uh, we went ahead and we generated quite a few tags to attach to this uh, code to this code snippet. Uh, there's commit messages involved. Uh, there's even some smart descriptions that were generated by LLMs that are meant to explain the code. There's even suggested searches. Uh, so if you wanted to search for the snippet in your pieces repository, you could use these suggested searches. And then there's much, much more such as related links, uh, linking me to this uh, regular expression documentation here. And uh, last but not least, there's also related people involved. So any, any person who's written code uh, that I've collaborated with in the past that is similar to this code, they've also been attached by uh, related people onto the snippet. Now, as I mentioned before, you're going to most likely want to reuse these code snippets for later. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to demonstrate this. So one very common use case of having to reuse code is basically needing to set up a JavaScript bundler, uh, potentially with ESBuild. Now, if you don't know uh, what any of that means, it's okay. Basically, you're just gonna be copying, pasting the same config uh, more often than not um, into multiple different projects. Now, I have this ESBuild web config snippet, and reusing these snippets and pieces is as simple as uh, dragging them and just dropping them into your editor. So now, if I wanted to convert this project into something that's able to run in the browser, um, I'm able to just simply set up this ESBuild config, um, maybe change a couple things on the inputs and outputs on it, and boom, I'm ready to go. Uh, I was able to save quite a bit of time just by being able to reuse a snippet, which is available to me through the Pieces VS Code extension. So yeah, definitely check out uh, the rest of the videos in this series. We're gonna be making lots of power tips showing you guys a lot of the excellent features that are available inside of the Pieces VS Code extension. And yeah, guys, happy coding.